let's say price goes up, right? And then price goes down, right? right? Now, let's say at the top here, let's say here they've got uh, 50 million orders, right? Let's say over here they've got 50 million orders, right? And they need they need 30 million orders to push price lower, right? They need 30 they need 30 million orders to push price lower. So now there's only 20 million orders sitting up here. Remember, they've used 30,000 to push price lower, right? So, so when price comes up, right, let's say, let's say price doesn't hold you. Let's say, right, that at this level, someone decides to push 20, right? So here they put, use 30 from their 50 million orders to push price lower right they then going to use now someone else gets involved here right and they use 20. now 20 can't beat the 20 right or let's it can't be like that let's say 55 55 000 here they use 30 to push price lower they've got 25 million right 25 million orders sitting over here these guys have only pumped in 20 minutes to push price higher right what happens is price then comes and liquidates that high, right? But because they don't have enough money, right? They then use their last 25 million to push price lower, right? So they use price to push price down to get you involved. Price goes up, liquidates. Price comes down, liquidates. Now, now they get involved and all of a sudden we see price now pushing up higher so what did we have we just had a fake out they had to take liquidity they had to take liquidity in order to push price higher i just showed you an example and that was basically it so they they obviously get you believing oh my gosh you know, price went up, liquidated. Oh my gosh, there's a change of character. But, but not a major change of character, but just a change of character. Okay, so there's a change of character. We are going to sell. Everybody believed that this is what price was supposed to do, but doesn't do it. So here we are. And everybody is believing that price is going to come back right and then price is going to push lower that's what everybody's believing but that was not the case we can see the trend look always look at your buyers and how strong they are in a market one thing i can teach you guys another thing i can teach you always look how strong your buyers are versus your sellers Always look how strong your buyers are versus your sellers. And how you can determine this is by the strength in the candles. Funny enough, and it's 100% true, you can discover the strength in their candles. Did you know that if we go to a chart, right? Let's just go to a chart quickly. If you look, right? Price is probably going to come and try go into this imbalance. I'm just, just making an example here, right? But, but, but before they go into this imbalance, they're going to get you very much involved. So you're going to get involved and you're going to go with them. And they're going to go up.
and then they're going to start going down. Right? Because they're not going to leave that liquidity sitting around there. They're generating liquidity. It's either they're going to take it now or they're going to generate liquidity in order for them to go in, into this imbalance, which might be um, NFP or something that would then push price lower, depending, depending on how, um, what can I say, how, how strong NFP will be. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, so this is basically how they work. I don't know. It's either this or, right? Okay, this is a one minute time frame. So they're gonna obviously start falling. They're not going anywhere yet. But as you can see, they're generating this liquidity, right? To then sell off, right? Because they need money. So now, at this level, price doesn't hold, right? Price doesn't hold because at this level, like I said, they've only got 10,000 or 10 million orders sitting at this level. But up here, they've used 30. So here, here, here they used 10 million, but here they use 30 million to push price lower. So obviously this is not going to hold. You understand? There's just too much volume sitting at this level, right? And they push price lower, and then they take everybody who was trying to get involved over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Yes, they got buyers and sellers involved, and they're probably going to create a lot of liquidity until they finally take it out. And only then, right, once they've generated that liquidity, will this is a one-minute time frame, will they then tap into, they will liquidate before going higher. Now, here, like I said here, let's say here there was 50, there was 50 million orders. They use 50 million orders to create this move, right? So there's no order sitting at this level anymore. They have no, no money to do anything at this level anymore. And what happens is, right, the guys that created this move, right, the guys that created this move, right, pumped in 80 million, right? They, they used 80 million. Do you think this high is going to hold? If they pumped 80, million and these guys pump 50 million into this move and they have no money left to do anything with do you think that this level is going to hold no that's why levels don't hold it can be a major order block whatever the case is but if there is no money at that level right if there is no money at that level price will break right through you understand but now let's make another example here they're using 50 million to push price higher. But here, they had, they had 100 million, right? Here, they had 100 million. But here, they only had 50 million orders. So if the 50 million ordered, sorry, orders created this move, their 50 million orders created that move, right? And someone else obviously got involved over here that created that move. Or they pumped in more money to create that move or whatever the case is. What I'm saying is now there are 50 million orders sitting at this level. They've used 50 million orders. Now when they get here, they don't have any money left. These guys have 50 million orders. So what happens is they then decide to push price lower. They use use their 50 million orders to push price lower and this is why imbalances hold because the guys that are sitting up here have enough money to create the move to come into this level and do something about it did that make sense
And if there's no money in the market, you can see that by consolidation. They're always consolidating. So let's say another example. Let's go back. Right? Let's say at this level, they really didn't have any money. Right? They only had, the institutions here were only sitting with 10 million. Right? So the 10 million could only get them slightly involved. So the 10 million gets them involved, but it gets them involved roughly from here to here. Now they need to make a plan, right? They need to make a plan to get more money in. So now we start getting buyers and sellers involved. Because now they're generating money. Now they're generating money because they didn't have money. Now they're generating money. Now they've generated, now they've generated a hundred million. They use 50 million to push price lower, grabbing money over there from 50 million. They've still got 50 million. They pick up 20 million orders down here. Price goes up, 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 up. They took their 70 from their 50 that they created over here and the 20 that they took from over here. They took 70 million orders and pushed price higher. And that's why this level didn't hold. I hope that makes sense. And that's why they say if the supply is stronger than a demand, it won't hold no matter the order block, no matter the imbalance, right? So if there is a generation of liquidity within so in most cases, you'll see that they will generate liquidity at the 50% level. If they're generating liquidity in premium, do you really think they're going to go down? They're not. Do you understand? They're generating liquidity in premium. They're still on a buying spree. So how are you getting involved? You should be in a continuation with the move. You should be following the trend. They are the trend. You should be following the trend, right? Normally, there would be a consolidation in the, in the middle by the golden zone, by the 50 and 61.8. That is where they normally consolidate, right? And that is normally when they come down and then go up or go up and then come down. That's when we don't really know what's happening. But if they are doing a consolidation right at the top or right at the bottom, you know exactly what's about to take place. I don't know how you get caught up in that. Are you with me? Remember, guys, that when you must remember that when 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 traders get involved, especially institutions, when they they don't trade like us, what you must understand is they get a portion of orders, right? And they run a section. So let's say they running they running from a time. That's why I say um, time moves price. They are running from a time. So they've got a time frame of let's say eight hours in a market to do whatever they want to do place however many orders they want to place right so that's their time you understand and there's many institutions getting involved at that time and they decide right and they decide listen today we're pumping in three trillion right we're pumping in three trillion because yesterday asian pumped in four trillion Right? And we want to push price higher, but Asia wants to push price lower. You get me? So now Asia has pumped in 4 trillion, right? US Open only pumps in 3 trillion. Do you think they're going to take out the Asian high? They're not. Are they going to overpower Asia? They're not. Asia used 4 trillion to push price lower. The US only had 3 trillion to push price higher. You get me? So each, you don't, you must understand that not everybody just gets involved. Nobody just gets involved. We just get involved. But institutions get a time frame that is set for them. You understand? Certain institutions, it's, it's, it's almost like, like, like a slot that is given to you when, you, when, you, when, when you're like a performer. Okay, you can, you're going to play from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's the same thing as a market. You're going to run 
eight hours. And in the eight hours, you can do whatever you want to whoever you want. But you need money to do that. So it's either we get money from you as people who are not supposed to be in the market, or we get money from our own pockets. So are we going to use our own pockets at first? Yes, we're going to use our own pockets at first to build up the momentum to get you guys on the wrong side of the market and then take you out and then generate the money we just used or even more. So we only have three, we only have three trillion in the US open, but they've generated so much that when it's finally time for that actual move to take place and this is where they like okay cool everybody we, we all know everybody's getting involved now everybody's everybody's waiting for this move let's quickly let's let's just liquidate the last people let's just take this last batch oh shit damn guys there's almost 150 billion orders sitting at this level let's quickly take that right that helps us now. Now we we pumped in three trillion, but we have four and a half trillion. We can take our Asian 